hey guys welcome back to cooking with tz and c cooking what we crave so today we are preparing a very special menu one of our viewers recommended this menu and we're preparing it for you so we're going to show you our twist and our technique to preparing this recipe so first we start off by washing about a pound of chicken you can use boneless chicken if you please and we're just going to chop our ingredients or our season to season the chicken so these are the ingredients that we will be using as we go along all right time for a season now so we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt you can add more you can add less one and a half teaspoon of crushed pimento if you don't want crushed pimento you don't have to right we are going to add about two cloves of garlic you can mince the garlic or you can crush the garlic whichever you please so we're just adding these ingredients as we go along to the chicken about half of a whole scotch bonnet pepper and one sprig of thyme you can use green thyme or you can use dried thyme even thyme powder in had also two stalk of scallion and one small onion we're not finished yet we're also going to add about two small tomatoes that's cooking tomatoes about two small that will do it right and then we're going to prepare for the powder season so we're going to add about about one tablespoon of maggi hal purple season if you don't have maggi all-purpose seasoning, you can use whichever season you have. So whichever chicken season you have, you can use it. And then we're going to massage the season and everything. Let it sit. And add a piece of ginger because you know ginger gives a different flavor. Then we're going to add the seasoned chicken to boiling water. So this is our technique and this is what we do different other people don't do the same thing but this is what we do so the seasoned chicken you add it to boiling water so you're gonna boil the seasoned chicken you know all of that season everything does season so everything goes season to the bone so all of that skelly and the thyme onion pimento and all that good stuff and allow to boil for about 30 minutes all right so after that we're going to prepare the flour to do the french fry chicken okay so we're just going to add one teaspoon of maggi all-purpose season to one cup of flour and quarter teaspoon of black pepper and also a quarter teaspoon of salt so these season that we're adding to the flour is just to add extra flavor extra spice or stop you know we extra the jamaicans extra and them love them season so just a season the flour we don't want a plain flour so we just add some season so any season you want to put in there you can put it in there any spice anything any flavor and anything right so after doing that we just stir so i have to get everything blended and we're going to coat the chicken so you allow the chicken to cool and you coat the chicken with the flour you can put them in a ziplock bag and shake up everything easier, right? So you can just put them in a ziplock bag and shake. Okay, guys, are you there now? Okay. So next step is to add half cup of cooking oil to the frying pan and add the chicken to fry until golden brown. So we're just transferring the chicken to the frying pan and allow to fry right so comment down below and tell me how your recipe turn out or if you try this recipe so after frying until golden brown this is how the chicken is looking very nice tasty delicious and crunchy chicken right so we just transfer to a paper towel to absorb some of the oil from the chicken right so we're just going to prepare the sauce no okay guys so i hope you didn't throw away that seasoned water that we used to boil the chicken in because that is the secret the secret is in the flavor right the secret is in the flavor and this is the secret guys 
because this will allow to prepare a delicious and mouth watering sweet and sour sauce so to prepare the sauce we're going to display the ingredient on the screen so you're going to mix the vinegar and the brown sugar together grate the ginger and pour the ginger juice in or you can add the ginger just the same transfer each pieces of chicken to the sauce and allow to steam for about five minutes some persons would add pineapple or pineapple juice to this recipe but this is our secret this is our technique this is our twist to preparing this sweet and sour chicken so you can add whatever you want this but this is just our take on the sweet and sour chicken something different right so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let us know if you try this technique to prepare in sweet and sour chicken you can check out our previous videos if you haven't yet and if you are watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notification button so you can be notified each time we post new videos bye